Hello and welcome. I am the Scraptastic Crocheter and my name is Amanda. And today I want to share a little bit about what I've been doing recently. I received a pretty big uh, yarn order not very long ago. You might have seen my unboxing of the Hobby uh, Lucky Cakes bags that I got. Well, I think it's one of my most recent videos. Or uploads. Uh, I will link it down in the comments so you can check it out if you want to see what I got. I did get 24 different yarn cakes, uh, all cotton yarn and um, spectacular colors. And so far, um, this is a little bit of what I've done. So these are finished objects and then I have some work in progress uh, that I also want to share. So I'm going to move this one to the side and take a closer look at this. So this is a shawl pattern called Secret Paths. Uh, and this cake uh, of yarns is a Nations, Hobby Sultan Nations cake in uh, color Denmark, not available to just purchase from their website but um, you can get lucky and get them in these mystery bags so really fun pattern really easy very simple um, like rows the same type of repeats you see the popcorns and the popcorns are coming there and then they're here again really love the texture of popcorns even though they're yarn eating and takes forever when you get to a row where you have plenty to make but it's a fun thing to alternate something really like time consuming and then these really fast easy double crochet uh, chain one holy type of uh, rows they're really fast to, to work so this is the first thing that I did and uh, really happy with the result back is just uh, fairly plain and smooth uh, you still see the like openings here so that's nice and you have these ridges and the popcorns really fun so that was shawl number one and this is made in a Hopi Sultan shadow cake and I'm pretty sure that this is black teal there is a black light teal um, but I'm pretty sure that this is the teal one because these colors here there's so much blue and I don't think that the blue is in um, the light teal one not as much at least oh this looks like the wrong way around of course there's no wrong or right side but this is a pretty simple type of repeat where all the double crochets are facing this side in these bigger shell parts so for some reason it just feels like this should be there the right side and you can see here is the center spine going down here and the, it's fanning out this way or like both ways i only followed a um, diagram that i found on pinterest so i don't know if this pattern actually has a name but it is really nice uh, and lacy and soft i can tell you also that i made these in a three and a half millimeter crochet hook and I have a fairly loose tension so you might get the same result if you use a four if you're a tight crocheter but this is really nice flowy and this is actually already uh, been claimed <laughs> so this is moving uh, I just wanted to get some you know share it with you guys get some pictures and I had to finish um, I hadn't sewn in the the yarn ends um, 
but I will be delivering this one very soon. So that's nice that this already got a new home. Yeah, it's really, really soft and squishy. I did make a little, it's probably really difficult to see when I have a black background, but black on black. Uh, I do have a little bit of a Pico trimmed edge with some, I haven't blocked it and uh, I don't know if I will have time to do that. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really nice with this edging that I figured out. Like I, I took it inspiration from somewhere else and I thought it was cute. So. That was that. And now we're coming into the fun part. What am I working on? And I'm working on two projects. Or really, I was working on one. And uh, then I had to stop. So I'll start with that one, the one I was already working on. Oh, here's a crochet hook flying. So here you can see the yarn cake. It's another Denmark cake. And I'm using the virus pattern to make a shawl in the red and white colors again. It's a really fast working project or pattern, really easy. Um, I know that there's plenty of patterns out there. There's pl plenty of tutorials if you want to uh, watch and see how it's done. I am um, good with just reading diagrams, so that's usually what I do. Um, that's what I've been doing most of the time. So, this is uh, really working out nicely. I haven't gotten further than two strands of white and two strands of red. So more white will be coming, of course. And then it will transition back to the red again. So, that's that. I think it's going to be pretty far, uh, like large, because there's quite a lot of yarn left still, and it's looking pretty big. Also, three and a half millimeter crochet hook. But the most fun thing I'm working on right now is what you're going to see now next to tucking that away. Look at this gorgeousness. Don't want to get all tangled up here. As you can see, I have not even finished the round I'm on. Uh, here's a bit of waviness, and you can see that everything else here is pretty straight. So I stopped in the middle of a row. And I only stopped for you guys because I felt like it's been a while since I came on here to talk. This is a Hooked on Sunshine pattern called the Doodad, and this is a baby blanket that I'm working in Sultan Pastello in the color Grape. And I'm not only using this cake, this is the second cake that I'm working on, because um, this is going to be a bit of a larger baby blanket. And I'm using two cakes and I started in the center of the other cake and when I came to the part where it's transitioned into one strand of the next color I cut the yarn and I jumped over to this cake here so I will do um, here where it's four of the same color until I come to the transition and then I'm going to work the next transition, and after that I'm going to cut and switch back to the other one. So I'm going to work this to however big it becomes, using two cakes, that I'm going to, I only want the, the colors to gradually go as they are in one cake. I don't want to have, like, um, do one of these cakes and then switch and go, like, from dark to light and light to dark, or 
light to dark and dark to light. I just want one um, fade from dark to light but using the two colors or the two cakes so that's why I'm doing the color controlling uh, part. It's pretty simple. Uh, it just gives me a little bit more ends to sew in. I have been pretty good so far um, sewing in mostly as I go. I have here a little bit to sew in and here I have something to sew in. Uh, but there was plenty more earlier. I just um, didn't want to um, have too much going on here, so I've been pretty good uh, working as I go. And this one is actually an order, so I am um, working this one up a little bit faster than I normally would, only because it is... Um, well, I want to be able to deliver it to uh, the one that ordered it uh, rather, you know, faster and stuff. That's just, I guess, how I work. I, I figured this um, is a pretty simple pattern once you get the hang of it. So it would work up pretty fast anyway. There's not too much intricate stuff that... I had to like learn new stitches and stuff like that. I have not done this pattern before, but I have done other patterns by Hooked on Sunshine and they were really easy to read and understand and stuff, so uh, not scared at all to use her patterns. Um, they're actually really well written and I enjoy them very much. Um, and yet again, a three and a half millimeter crochet hook. Same, basically, always. That's just what I prefer uh, to use when I use these thinner yarns. So I'm really looking forward to see how this is going to turn out because, as you can see, I still am working on the first color. Uh, and it's, I wouldn't say it's big, it's decent size but it's going to be interesting to see how big it gets with two cakes. Um, I imagine it's going to be a little bit bigger than I am, was first planning because I have been using other type of cakes to do baby blankets in the past. I've used the whirl cakes and I think they're 1000 meters and these are only 800 meters but I've used like one and a half of those cakes so that's like 1500 and this using two of these will be 1600 so I, I was hoping it will be a bit about the same but I also think that this is not a very yarn eating pattern um, so maybe that's what makes the difference um, it's well you know it's got a little bit of a laziness and it's not it's not very like yarn eating so maybe it will become bigger than I visualize it um either way it's going to be fine um um just you know it's hard to imagine when i ha when you haven't tried anything yet uh, i've done different things in different yarns and it's just sometimes hard to visualize the finished product i'm I know it's going to be gorgeous because these colors are gorgeous and it's going to be a baby blanket for a baby boy and uh, it will be really fun to to deliver it once I finish. So I will show you uh, the finished result, maybe even uh, an update while I'm working on it. We'll see how fast I work on it and uh, if other things pop up in the way, but the virus shawl is Put on hold for now so that I can do this one and then I will go back to it when this one is finished and delivered and such but don't worry I will show you um, the progress it's um, it's gorgeous I think it's really good to have like some stuff going on you have these like popcorns and there's some ridge work um, it's, I think that's good for small children to like get 
textures and stuff it's I, I already like I always thought that it's good for kids to explore so I prefer textured baby blankets and stuff like that um, and it looks so stunning this will be stunning if you use different colors on these parts and it will also be stunning in one color um, so don't be afraid to mix and match and think outside the box because that's what I'm doing now I I got the yarn uh, well that was the like out start starting point I guess um, that the person that ordered a baby blanket saw the yarn and fell in love and was like can you make a baby blanket you get to do whatever you want um, you know artistic freedom and all that um, and I do have three of these cakes but I think two is going to be definitely enough for a baby blanket it's probably going to be a bit on the larger side anyway because of the amount but it's going to be gorgeous so that's what I've been up to or what I am up to up to no good <laughs> baby blankets and shawls and I am for some reason <laughs> tempted to order more yarn <laughs> I have like I had 24 cakes to start with two cakes are totally finished up and just you know ready and three cakes are started on since I'm using two for this and I have the other one in my little yarn corner downstairs I usually sit on the couch when I crochet so I, I didn't want to move it around too much. I don't like um, carrying these around, even though it's not really, you know, fragile or anything when it's just a little starting gaping hole. But when you get a little bit further and uh, it gets a bit, you know, flimsy, you don't want to move them around if you don't have to. So just to avoid tangles and messes and stuff like that. And the fun thing, really, is you see these are, you know, minty, awesome colors. And this teal to black, gorgeous color. So lighter to light and a darker to dark. And this is going to be for a mother and a baby. Even more gorgeous. Um especially with these like shell type things going here and then the shells here are they gonna match good or what this is yeah really fun it's actually really nice to see the colors next to each other like this and this dark Ooh, this is a nice combo this light and black Maybe I'll do something else with, uh, I have one more cake of this and I do have two more cakes of this. So maybe I'll do something else combining mosaic project, maybe going from this dark and this darker here to this combined with the white. Hmm. That could actually be really gorgeous, and these more bluish colors would end up with these in the middle transitioning stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I have so many ideas, so much yarn, and I still want more yarn. I don't know, are you also like that? Can you have uh, too much yarn? I have yarn on my shelves. I don't need it. I want it. Yes that's for sure so this is what I had to show you today I just like to sit here and you know pet my project <laughs> works I don't know if anyone uh, of you have ever heard of ASMR or into that but 
Should I do that? Like ASMR videos, just stroking blankets and yarn. Is this a soothing sound? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. Maybe that's just too dorky. Uh, yeah. I can definitely just, you know, laugh at it. I do enjoy some ASMR occasionally, so I'm not um, too afraid of it or, you know, I just don't know if yarn ASMR is a thing. If there's any... I, I actually need to check that out, like if there's any yarn ASMR videos or channels or maybe I should start doing that because no one else is. If no one else is, you know? Let me know. <laughs> Would you be interested to to watch me just crochet and make sounds with yarn, squeezing balls? Maybe I have. Oh, this color here. I can just squeeze yarn balls all day. And there's, I think there's, yeah, there's a ball band in here. For extra interesting sounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't help it but laugh at myself. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Maybe I'm starting to get tired. <sighs> Fun stuff. Me and yarn. You never know what to expect. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed this video, um, leave a comment, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and um, I hope that you have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you back here again soon. I am going to cuddle up on the couch and continue working my way on this doodad. And, um, yeah, there's probably going to be more baby blankets in the future. And um, probably is uh, most likely because there was babies born into the world, into my life. Um, well, I, I did already uh, deliver one baby blanket uh, for a baby born a few weeks ago. But there was one baby born this Saturday and there was one baby born today. And there is more babies um around so yeah babies is in the future or baby blankets i should say uh, maybe this pattern again i don't know we shall see but i will definitely show you whatever i decide to do who knows maybe i'll switch it up and do something different to surprise everyone or maybe to keep myself on my toes to not get all stuck in baby blankets and shawls uh, we'll see so thank you and bye bye